looks incredibly difficult. I mean, just the gyrations and coordination and the oh. drapes and ah, I, I, I'm You can I'm try that. Just, just do something like this. And yeah, here you go. Yes, yes. <laughs> So that's, that's like doing the pageant wave, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the pageant wave. <laughs> oh, yeah, she is a dancer. So, <laughs> and then you want to be on this show, just call Sal. And you can be on Sal's show on the number 781-321-8189. Sal's show is your show. Today, we have with us Mark Cataldo, who is going to play this 50 years old saxophone for you. Here you go. By any chance, is he related to those people who drive the ambulances? Oh yeah, it's the same Cataldo ambulance. Huh? You got it right. Very good. Let's take a listen. Hello and welcome to Sal's show. I'm Barry Greenspan and I'm here with... Mark Cataldo. Mark, welcome to Sal's show. Thank you. Now Mark, you are a saxophone player. Yes. Now, are you an amateur or are you a professional? Professional. Professional. Now, do you do only solo projects or are you part of a band as well? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm part of a band and I do solo projects as well. I, uh, the band's name is Pulse. We, uh, we do local gigs around the Boston area. Um, we've performed at the Porthole in Lynn. We performed at the Times in Boston. We did St. Rocco's Feast here last year. And, uh, you know, a few other places as well. We have a gig at Maddie's coming up. And Maddie's is where? Uh, it's August. It's August? Yep. Now, this is a tenor saxophone. Tenor saxophone, yes. And is this the only saxophone you play, or...? Um, I play others, but uh, there is, uh, this is my, this is my main horn, it's my favorite. I like the, I like the, uh, the range of it, the sound, and I think it's the, the best overall saxophone there is for me. For the benefit of the viewers who are not as familiar with the saxophone as you are, being a right. professional musician, how many different types are there? Well, there, there are four common types. There are, um... Soprano saxophone, alto saxophone, tenor saxophone, and baritone saxophone. But there are also two other types that you don't commonly hear about, which are the bass saxophone and the contrabass saxophone. The contrabass saxophone is seven feet tall, and you have to stand on a chair to play it. <laughs> they use them in symphony orchestras, things like that. So not exactly in the marching band. Right, okay. exactly. Now, were you a member of the uh, marching band? I was, for two years. In yeah. your high school? Yep. And you went to... Uh, Malden High. Malden High, as yep. I. lived in Malden my whole life. Good to hear. Yep. Oh. Now, the saxophone, this one, obviously, judging by its appearance, it's not a brand new one. No, it is not. How old is it? It's a uh, 1957 Selmer Mark 6 tenor. So, this is... Something it's got a certain feel, a certain sound that you it's, just it's it's got a it's got a, a certain feel and a certain sound. The uh, the older horns for some reason are are much better than the newer horns, and you know not necessarily oldest is better. Certain vintages are better than others. Like um, you know there are horns older than this, but aren't as aren't as good as this. Now the mouthpiece and the reeds. Um, I use. Um, a chest, this, this mouthpiece right here, I have quite a few, but this mouthpiece right here is called a Chester Hazelette mouthpiece. It's made of a special material called steel ebony. And uh, that, that material, um, I don't know if you can get it anymore, I'm not sure, but back then it was, it was only um, allotted to a few people. So, but a different mouthpiece, a different reed can change the sound? Oh, of course, yeah. It can. It, it, there's a lot of different things that could change the sound. Even changing the neck of the saxophone can change the sound. One, two, three, four. <laughs> 